Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic IP addressing uh, with two routers and just one link running in between those routers. Uh, so I'm using a program called Janus3. This is a very good program if you're going to be running some simple labs, simple topologies. I would say you could probably use Janus3 for most things um, from CCNA to CCNP at this point in time. Uh, once you get into your CCIE level stuff, you might want to start using uh, real equipment and in some cases real equipment would be um, better you know as far as getting the feel of what the equipment looks like how it feels and and what the actual physical thing looks like but in this case when we're gonna do a basic lab it's very easy to just bring something up really quick like this um, and go ahead and run through that lab so we got router 1 on this side and router 2 and we're connected on both ends using uh, the interface Ethernet 1 slash 0. The network that we want to configure in the middle is going to be the 10.12.12.0 slash 24 network. So the reason I do 12.12 .12 is because I'm using router 1 and router 2. So I just decide to do that to make it simpler for my eyes to remember, okay, this network is between router 1 and router 2. So router 1 on this end is going to be dot 1 of this network and router 2 over here is going to be dot 2. So let's go ahead and bring up our configuration here. Here's router 1. Alright, so first things first, we need to go into configure terminal mode, go into the interface level, interface E0, uh, 1 slash 0. So we got to go to IP address 10.12.12.1 and this is a slash 24 which means it's 255.255.255.0 and we have to no shut the port because if we go back and we do a show IP interface brief you'll notice how all of the ports here are administratively down which means that they are turned off administratively when we do the no shut command we bring that port either to the down state or the up state so now in this case we have E1 slash 0 that has the IP address assigned and it is the status is up and the protocol status is up as well. So we're done on that end. If we go to the other side and we go ahead and program that interface as well. So it's going to be the same interface number E1 slash 0 IP address and of course I'm using the tab completion to fill in a lot of that stuff so 10 12 12 2 slash 24 doing a no shut and now if we do a show IP interface brief you'll see that you'll see this uh, notification message saying that we are up and up and so now to test this connectivity we can ping from one end to the other and vice versa. So let's go ahead and ping 10.12.12.1 which is router 1 and you see that we will lose the first ping to ARP but then after that we'll be good. So let's just be sure of that and send a repeat count of 100 just to be sure that we have continual and uninterrupted connectivity which we do. So now let's go ahead and um, do the same for router 1. So let me grab router 1 here and let me go ahead and ping 10.12.12.2 in this case and let me do a just ping it and that's good and let's go ahead and do a repeat count of 100 just to be sure and there you go 100 uh, percent success rate so that's pretty much how we configure IP addresses and um, on routers so this is a very basic video but of course it's going to be leaning into a lot of other stuff uh, regarding routing so um, it's a very important video if you're a, a novice in the Cisco world so I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great day